<laughs> I want to tell you about Liz. Mrs. Warner, as we, I said, Liz, I saw her last month in New York at the Waldorf at a do. And I said, Liz, I, this is your last wedding present. I've just been to Bloomingdale's and I just shipped it down to your farm in Virginia. Don't expect any more wedding presents from me because I just can't afford it. She said, oh, oh, please don't, no, because this is it. I'm not going to get married anymore. Liz is a very benevolent lady. When she was making Cleopatra in uh, uh, Rome, she had a beautiful villa outside of near the uh, uh, Via Antica, uh, the Appian Way, near Cinecitta Studios. And she gave blanket orders to her servants that any, anybody who came to the, to the stage door, the kitchen door, to feed them if they wanted food. And you know, the Italians have a lot of problems over there. Bless them. They're wonderful people. I love them. But she was feeding half of the Italian countryside. And then she goes and she goes to Germany and she finds a child who is lame. She adopts that child and named, named her Maria. She spent thousands of dollars on this child's body and limb. The child now walks. The, the things that she does, the benevolent good things in life, they don't want to hear about it. The press doesn't, uh, doesn't bother to write it up. But she's a good, good lady. And Judy Garland. So much for Liz. Judy Garland was one of the most talented of all the leading ladies I think I ever worked with. She was too much, too much. It was needed bridling in. It needed reining in. She forgot more than what most young actresses are trying to learn today. It was a waste. It was just a terrible waste, the way she... I don't know what her problem was. I nearly married Judy. But Are every you serious? Yeah. Did you we went together to for about a year, then I couldn't take it anymore. What? Did you propose to her? No, she proposed to me. I don't propose, Bobby. <laughs> I'm not going to get down on that knee. I couldn't get down on the knee anyway. <laughs> I lie down. But you did what? think about marrying Judy. I thought about it. <laughs> yes. But you didn't think the two temperaments would work? Oh, I knew, I knew. Every time I picked up the poor thing to go take her out to dinner or dancing, she was always a problem. Poor thing. She's, uh, she's well out of it. I think she's at rest, at peace at last. But she was one of the greatest talents I've ever known. Did most of your leading ladies fall in love with you? No, I fell in love with them. Did you always fall in love with them? Always fell in love with the leading ladies, as far as it went. On the square from Rhode Island. But when I was married, <coughs> Madam, you always, a, what, yes, <laughs> I usually do something else. Was that significant? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my ex-wife always thought that I was uh, gone too far with the leading ladies. Uh, honest to God, there was only one lady I ever felt that I would be, could be close to, and that was Esther Williams, because we were always swimming in the water. Contact, play with that for a minute. Anyway, Esther is a marvelous lady. Has a, she's a great cook, too. I used to love to go on locations with Esther because she always made great lunches for everybody. She's a good mama.